Hello, I'm Rahil Shah, director at NM Medical. The COVID era has presented a bunch of unprecedented challenges to diagnostic centers and the healthcare industry as a whole. In fact, in our 40 years plus of existence, we can't think of any other time that's been as challenging as the current COVID era. Firstly, from a customer standpoint, we had to implement a number of safety and hygiene measures to instill confidence in both our patients as well as referring clinicians that it was okay to visit a medical facility during this time. No cost and effort was spared to ensure that every safety protocol could be put in place for both our patients as well as our staff so that when one visited the center, there could be no concern of acquiring an infection at any of our diagnostic centers. Um, whether that included putting in safety gear like PPE, uh, sanitizers, gloves, masks, face shields, or investing in best-in-class cleaning services, professional cleaning services in some departments like CT, CT scan after each and every patient. In other departments, um, periodically every couple of hours and in the general waiting areas every day at the end of the day with defogging, cleaning, deep cleaning, sanitization, no effort was spared. And this was visibly evident to patients who, who visited our facility. So that created a confidence in them that it was okay to visit our diagnostic centers during this time as well. Second, we ensured that there would be a lot of respect for their time when they came to our center. So uh, we moved to a culture of providing tests primarily by appointments. Uh, previously, tests that we would allow on a walk-in basis were shifted to an appointment schedule largely and that ensured that everyone who came in was taken on time uh, uh, and did not have to spend any more time that they needed to than what they needed to in our medical facility. Now from a staff standpoint, so the biggest concern for us was how do we provide our services if staff can't make it to our, our diagnostic centers. Now I must say that 
our staff and doctors have been the real unsung heroes, the COVID warriors during this time, particularly the ones who were able to convince their families to allow them to come to work, despite all the challenges of lockdown, uh, the fear, um, a lot of rumor mongering, WhatsApp is a very dangerous tool. Uh, we were able to counter all of that with constant communication to our staff. Top management was available. Uh, HR was available to speak to each and every staff member or family members of, of staff who had concerns. And we created support structures for them, whether it was providing private vehicles for them to get to work and, and drop them back home, giving them letters and special IDs that allowed them to commute to work without any harassment from the, from the, from the cops, from the local authorities. Um, enabling them to travel by train and bus when those options were opened up to healthcare workers, um, essential service workers, talking to societies of staff where they stay, where the society members uh, and society chairs were reluctant to allow those staff members to go out to a medical center, counseling them and explaining to them why it was okay for the staff to come. So a lot of effort was put in to ensure that they could come to work in a timely manner and complete their tasks, whether it was a radiologist performing an ultrasound, an x-ray technician taking an x-ray, or a lab technician processing blood samples in our laboratory, we were able to ensure that they came to work. Now, when COVID first broke out, um, our lab, a molecular lab, did not have the NABL accreditation required to begin COVID testing. And that's because our molecular lab was started relatively recently, just earlier in the calendar year. So we had to go through an arduous uh, setup process, including uh, an eight hour online audit with NABL in mid-May to get the permission to begin COVID testing. So after a lot of persistence, a lot of effort from our staff, um, follow up with NABL for them to be convinced that yes, an online audit can be, can be done. We finally got the approval to begin COVID testing by end May and we began in early June. From then until now, we've completed a close to 20,000 uh, COVID tests um, uh, for patients in hospitals, um, in their homes, in institutions, a variety of settings as permitted by ICMR and BMC. Uh, and today we're proud that we're probably the most comprehensive COVID testing service provider in the city. We're able to provide all the entire basket of services end to end from a swab PCR test to a swab antigen test to an antibody blood test to a chest CT scan and a chest x-ray. So the entire bouquet of services and all the blood work as well that would be needed for COVID patients is available at NM Medical across multiple locations.